Let's learn how to draw the diagram of open and closed stomata. We'll start with learning how to draw open stomatal pores. First make a small C towards your left. Make a similar but inverted C towards your right. Note, I have kept a little gap while making the two C's. Now convert the first one into a bean shaped structure. Just see, I have almost maintained this distance to be parallel. Convert the other one also into a C. But please note that you will touch this C at two points with the previous guard cell. In this guard cell, since these are like any other cell, each one will have one nucleus. Besides, we know guard cells are the only epidermal cells which have chloroplast. So I am drawing the chloroplast. Also it is known in guard cells, the two walls of the cells are differently thickened. Inner side is thick, outer is thin. So I will make this a little, I will make a double line here, a double line here and I will shade it with black to show that this line side is more thicker as compared to the other. After this, once I made the two guard cells, this is the aperture that is the stomata. I will make the subsidiary cells. Just make few cells in the shape of flower outside this guard cells. These cells, they represent the subsidiary cells and together the subsidiary cells, guard cells and the stomata forms a stomatal apparatus. So we will label. This is subsidiary cells. This is these two are the guard cells and this gap is known as the stomata, stoma or the stomatal aperture. Together these three cells that is subsidiary cells, guard cells and stomata they form the stomatal apparatus or the stomatal complex as we call it. Besides, one more labeling that you need to know is that these cells which I told you are the chloroplast, you have to label it because these are guard cells are the only epidermal cells which have chloroplast. So this forms your structure of open Stomach.